All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. We're sitting our home away from home, and I'm happy to be back at it. The Sniper's Unknown Challenge was a lot of fun. We learned a lot, and I'm excited to get back on developing that uh, 6 millimeter arc for the uh, new, uh, what did I call that, the compact sniper rifle. We do have a DMR competition coming up on December 12th down there in South Carolina, so it should be a lot of fun just to rehash it and do it all again. It's not going to be a team thing. I think it's an individual two-gun challenge, so there's pistol and rifle involved. So what are we getting ready to talk about right now? This is a big day. Well, tomorrow's a big day. Today is November 2nd, so tomorrow is November 3rd, the election. The final tally, hopefully, hopefully the final tally. I'm probably not going to be able to stand to watch it. I might check in on an occasion, but I just really and truly don't even want to watch it. Uh, just because the, the amount of energy that I've expelled on this whole thing has just been really, really incredible. I would like to make a few comments, though, uh, as it relates to uh, the candidates. Uh, the one, Joe Biden. Uh, we've talked about him in the past. And people were, it was interesting how people, no one's coming for your guns. Well, you can say that, but that's exactly what they have said they're going to do. Uh, these are the same people who say that health care is a right. I know that he says health care is a right and everybody should have it. If he's elected, do you think you're not going to get health care? Uh, so when people tell me they're going to do something, I usually take it at face value. I guess if they're a Democrat, you don't have to worry about that. In any case, what I, I find it interesting is that the, uh, the statements that are made is that... Uh, Joe Biden, if, if elected, he's going to follow the science. He's going to do. He's going to follow the science. We got a plan. We're going to do social distancing. We're going to wear a mask. Well, Jack asks, is that not exactly what we're doing right now? What exactly was Joe Biden going to do differently than Donald Trump did? All I hear about is 200,000 deaths. Okay, got it. But what was Joe Biden going to do differently? I doubt he was going to do anything else differently. But I will tell you this. Had Donald Trump not done what he had done at the very beginning by canceling flights into the United States from China, who knows? We could have probably been like Spain or France. And the shit is coming back around again right now. So it, it's it's going to uh, be an enlightening experience to see what happens in the next couple of days. And with that being said, uh, I know that I have several meetings that are scheduled throughout the country in different cities. And a lot of these uh, people who are supposed to meet with me, uh, their companies won't let them out the door, especially on Wednesday, the day after the election, because much, many of these cities are boarding their windows up already. Why do you suppose that is? Why do you suppose they're boarding? Do you think people with the MAGA hats are going to do uh, rioting? No. L leave a comment down below on, on that whole thing, if you don't mind. Uh, now, people with MAGA hats are probably out there trying to make a living, so provide for their family, not sitting around with their hand out like these Antifa fuckers are. Excuse my French. Didn't mean to say that. But in any case, yeah, so in preparation for what's getting ready to happen, if there are riots, let me know what you're planning on doing for that as well. Uh, it's an interesting time that we live in and that people don't get what they want. They've resulted to, and resorted to this rioting thing, which has become more and more acceptable to certain people. And I can't understand why that has become the new norm. If you don't get what you want, we're going to burn everything to the ground. If I've heard it says, we don't get what we want, we're going to burn it to the ground. So in preparation is I travel. I don't know what I might have to deal with, with the uh, roads being blocked in front of me. Do we get bear spray? I've heard a good thing to do is get some hornet spray. That stuff will reach out and touch somebody, and it'll hurt. It will hurt them bad. Uh, but in any case, uh, not lethal. <laughs> Let's just remain there. But uh, yeah, man, we've got the election coming up tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see what exactly happens. I know I haven't done a video in quite a while, but uh, I just had to take a break to spend some time with my family. Also, a lot of people have commented on my long hair. This is because I will, after the election, I will get it cut. I just, for some reason, I, I said, I'm not getting my hair cut to the election. It's kind of like one of those deals. Another thing I want to show you guys, kids going back to school, check this out. This is a three ring binder, level 3A, bulletproof pencil holder. Pretty cool deal, premier body armor. Uh, guys, they've got some new armor out right now. The plates are less than five pounds a piece. They're, uh, and they're economical, and those guys can get it out the door to you pretty quickly. This little booger right here is $119. I know it sounds expensive, 
and I'm going to put one of these in each one of my kids' backpacks along with a uh, full body panel or full backpack panel. So anyway, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below, man. Elections, lies, and riots. How about that? All in one day. And you don't think that you hear the old statement, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, the ends, uh, what is it, the ends uh, justifies the means. These guys will do whatever it takes to win that election. All right, so that's it. You guys let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, we always end like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We're going to get back to uh, range time here very shortly. Uh, I was actually, hold on one second, going to do a review on this little guy right here. This is the Primary Arms SLX MD25. However, these things are so popular, uh, they're out of stock. This, in my mind, is probably one of the best, most rugged, sophisticated little red dot. This thing has two levels of night vision. And uh, we're going to do some night vision shooting. I've got a new uh, infrared illuminator from the guys over there uh, at Ivan Tactical. We're going to go ahead and set that up on the AKV so we can shoot it in uh, close proximity and have some fun. That'll probably be next week. But we got some NVG action coming out soon. It'll be a lot of fun. All right. Y'all be good. We'll see you soon. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. I'm going to do, do a video tomorrow, but it's not going to be election related. But this is going to be scary. If Biden wins this thing, how long do you think it's going to take for Kamala Harris to take charge? Y'all be good. I'm out of here.